Hi everyone, we are going into the third uh, tutorial about making painting papers and before we continue I wanted to show you one more thing I've done with the painting papers from last video, the scrapping paint. I just took uh, uh, the painting papers, cut them and just glued them down to this boring notebook I had. And just so it would be more festive, I took strips of the paper and every several pages just uh, went and glued down. And now I've got this interesting notebook instead of boring one. This is just an elastic band that I've uh, attached with a glue gun and again took a piece of uh, one of the painting papers and glued it to this really boring and simple pen so just one more example of what you can do with your painty papers and I'm going to move this aside and we are going to uh, the next painty paper so this time we are going to smoosh paint and we are it's going to make a mess and you can do it on uh, almost any paper and it's better to use a very uh, <laughs> not cheap but very uh, simple acrylics it's uh, better than the heavy bodied ones so any kind of craft paint it uh, will do i even use i have some a uh, fabric uh, spray uh, paint that i don't use this is from the cheap store and it's kind of a, an acrylic paint but runny one so I use it for this technique so it really doesn't matter and I'm going to show you a few examples just prepare to make a mess and I've got some plastic card so uh, you can start with smooshing paint by just taking any kind of paper like a book page a printer paper or any other heavy duty paper if you prefer and of course it's nicer to work on heavy duty paper but as I said you can use it on something like this and you just take all kinds of paint that you want to use put some drops not overthinking it just having fun putting some paint Here we go. Now smooshing it. And I've already managed to uh, get some paint on my hand. And now I'm just scraping the paint. I want it to move and just go all over the page. Now, here we go. Just a start. If you don't have coverage uh, in all the places, of course, you can go again and just add what you want wherever you want it if i want even to overlay i'm going to overlay of course i can also use it as is and this can be for a punching a all kinds of stuff uh, it can be my background you can do many things with it like any kind of painting paper or collage paper for that matter and the excess is running here outside so this of course is endless I can go and on on and do this thing so I'm going to show you in a minute what I usually do with this kind of paper now this is only when you take one paper and I can also take an art journal page and I can smoosh it directly here of course now I just need to uh, be sure I'm not going to make a mess for other pages so I'm just sticking it here and let's again put some paint on I really don't care where it goes I just want to have fun with it These are uh, a little bit 
a little bit less runny, but it will work. And let's add more of this yellow. Again, having just fun with it. You can also uh, spray a little bit water on it and then smoosh the paint. It will just uh, run better all over. So, smooshing it, taking the plastic card. Now this is sketch, sketch paper, so it absorbs the paint almost immediately and it would be a little bit harder for it to spread, but nonetheless, I can also take the excess go in and again have fun i'm having an instant background like this don't care having fun here we go and as you can see i have more here less here again sketch paper will absorb a the paint almost immediately so it's harder to do it on sketch paper but I can, uh, if I am really concerned about it, I can always uh, put gesso first and then do the smooshing. But that's just because I'm using sketch, sketch paper, which I can get cheaply at my cheap store and using it for my art journals. And I can go on and on and add and more to this and have fun with it you see I'm just having fun and a lot of mess that's part of it here we go so I've got here instant background that now needs to be dry putting it aside one more example that I want to show you let's move this now this is a little bit more a uh, heavy duty paper. This is Bristol, I think it's 180 grams. And I'm going to use the textile uh, fabric paint that I told you. Just, it's opaque and it's runny. So for me, it's almost like using an acrylic paint. And the because it's, it's like this, then, <laughs> <laughs> the spray always get gets clogged so I'm just going to put some like this do a whirl <laughs> Jason Pollock on it just have fun okay Oops, never mind. Part of the deal. And let's do a little bit gold in here. Okay, so we've got paint. And now I'm going to spray this a little. And this is going to make a lot of mess. I have a lot of paint here. And now I'm taking another Bristol paper and putting it down. I'm going to get two painty papers for my efforts. And that's great. So again, you see how all this runny paint. And the thing that I really like with this technique is if I will uh, take my page now like this then I will have directionality like this if I will take it like this then the directionality of the paint will be uh, how I took my page up so you see what a lovely effect I get now of course this will take some time to dry and I love it and I'm putting this aside now with this uh, it's really good to have something underneath like this paper I just put here uh, so you can lift it and put it aside to dry 
I'm going to all, let all this dry and then I come I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to do with all of this I'll be back okay so here we are we have uh, our painting papers collage papers you can do whatever you want with them I just want to show you some examples and uh, usually when I do this kind of smooshing paint with little pieces that I just fold in half I use it to make all kinds of like butterflies dragonflies and so on I'm taking this a uh, butterfly stamp with archival ink let's move this aside and now I can just stamp away here in the middle and get a lovely butterfly eh, I need more ink never mind I just want to show you what I'm uh, trying to do what you can do with it and again another one and I will have nice butterflies for any kind of project that you want like so of course it doesn't have to be with a stamp you can do whatever you want you can uh, just cut out some shape you want and play with it I can decide to I don't know to make a, a vase out of it for that matter So that's what I use with this kind of smooshing paint. I get some kind of symmetrical stains. And now I've got a piece to work with again with another project. So here we go. That's a, some of the things I wanted to show you. And one more example, I'll do a, another video when I'm using, I have like this one, I showed you with other colors, this is again with a fabric paint that I took two Bristol papers and just smooshed the paint and next video I'm going to use this as a background. And again, this is where I smooshed paint in uh, this art journal. And I'm just going to show you how I turned this into an interesting background. I've got here some gesso and I've got a sponge. I'm dabbing the excess. And I'm just going to stencil. Of course, you can... Uh, stamp, stencil, uh, glue, whatever uh, you're, you like on this kind of background. I'm just showing you one way I'm going to use it just so you can see what you can do with this smooshing paint technique. Okay. Let's do another one here. Of course, you can do as many as you want. And wherever you like. Just have fun. You don't need expensive stuff. You just have to have fun with paints and smooshing them. And making a mess. Which is part of the fun, I think. Okay, we've got this and let's do something a little bit more. Let's see. I've got uh, this stamp. Maybe I can put a little bit here and just, yeah, stamp away. Now, if you're putting gesso or acrylic paint on rubber 
or silicone uh, stamps make sure that when you're finished you immediately wash them or they are ruined so here we go I'm already in love with this background and as you can see it's so easy to make and let's put just a little bit more here yeah here we go so this is it for now i'm going uh, to make another video with this as a background so you can see how you can use the painty collage papers and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now